Hey travelers, so third video in the series on two uh, Gemini, Venus and Gemini. So what to know about that fine lady who's got Venus and Gemini. Now this is like a, a peculiar placement or a peculiar attitude, attitude comes with the sign or the placement. Um, you know, we're like a, we're Venus and Taurus, where Taurus is more about like being conservative as to your own ideas, because you have certain values and you want to respect them, Gemini's like the next step, it's like, oh, it's a very curious energy, it likes to experiment with the mind, and you got Venus falling there, oh bro, she might, she might be hard to read, because she probably cannot read herself. Uh, not that she can't read, but she probably has trouble knowing what she even wants herself. Um, uh, Gemini being an earth sign, uh, it has to do with like relating to others and mind games also, and how like uh, you know Venus falling there makes them want a certain like mental stimulation, mental jerk off. They like. To have to think about things, they like to be st stimulated uh, mentally, and it's a mutable sign. So uh, yeah, the, there's always more than one current of air at the same time. Which translating this to a relationship to a Venus sign for the lady, um, she, you know, she, if she's in a relationship where she actually like decided to like invest herself and like go into like this, I want to say more dance, but into something more concrete, more solid than just the airy, like, woo, Gemini energy that she usually carries, if she so decides to go in that relationship, um, she's going to value her freedom a lot. So she's going to want someone, well, here's the catch, she might want someone who like, lets her be free and like really free but at the same time she's gonna want that person to kinda have like a, a hold on her or, or to kinda like want some type of exclusivity because that's kinda like the value of love she's like hey like could I at least like get that but at the same time she's gonna want to be free so there's this duality there that could be there so if you're actually like um if you're actually acting with that girl and you, you you're acting like um, she you know you're acting like you, you got her and there's no problem and like she's in a relationship with you so what up like it could just be not not no nah, she's gonna show you that there's one wind, wind current in the relationship and there's one out and air travels a lot so she could be like a flirting or she could get her mind stimulated for multi from multiple people at the same time since like the twins or Gemini kind of has like multiple faces they enjoy multiple wind currents what are wind currents well air is thoughts it's communication it's information on a surface level information for the sake of information for like the enjoyment of the possibilities of that information so if you actually act like she belongs to you and stuff she's gonna show you like hey I could have like one feet in the real one foot in the relationship and another um, outside of the relationship just so they could keep themselves stimulated free like the air and kinda like you know have those little mind games at the same time that they enjoy because Gemini deals with understanding the mind uh, it's this th third sign. Uh, Taurus is more about understanding your own values. Before understanding the mind and how you relate that to others, you're creating your values. And before creating your values, you're in Aries where you're creating the self. So, you know, once in Gemini, it's, a, it's for science. It's not cheating. You know, it's just so that she can get to learn about the mind, so that she can get to um, experience, again, different wind currents through her love life. Um, yeah, so uh, Gemini rules the hands, so she's, maybe she's going to like if you hold her hand. Um, it also rule, rules the lungs, so um, just like uh, Venus and Cancer, Cancer ruling like the breasts and stuff, um, she's gonna enjoy if you play with her 
you know, if you, you're able to like stimulate her air center, her heart chakra, um, she's gonna enjoy that. Now, um, how would you get with one? Or like what, how, what's usually like a flirting method that works? Well, you g you're gonna want to uh, play with her mind's duality. You're gonna want to say things that are witty. You're gonna want to say things that could mean like innuendos but that are subtle so that she could be like thinking and she could enjoy like the mental jerk off that you're I'm like <laughs> she could enjoy the mental jerk off that you're giving her you know um, so uh, you know just the, the different things like play on words like being able to like show information that like would make her like rethink her values and like information that would uh, kind of excite her like new stuff that she's sharing that she's been being like blah 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 um, she's also gonna like if you have some fire because it's an air sign and you know uh, fire attracts air because air feeds the fire so uh, sh she's gonna like enjoy if you're passionate about something and she's gonna kind of be like a soundboard for you to express your creativity and your passion um, so she she's probably gonna like some maybe some leo energy that's more flamboyant or um aries energy that's more determined and that likes to charge into something because the aries energy is gonna charge into like her ideas and like her you know her speculation or like uh, the information that she's sharing or perhaps her opposite sign of sad. She's gonna enjoy someone who's able to see things from a broader perspective than she is. She's probably more into like little details and appreciating the little tiny bits of like information and you know, um, what else? Or other air signs that understand the same kind of like liberty and freedom that she needs and that can kind of like relate on an intellectual level about things in relationships. Um, for gift, for, you know, for Venus and Aries, if you looked at the other videos, uh, for Venus and Aries, like, oh, be passionate with her, maybe like hold her hair, like, or like kiss her passionately, play with her head. Uh, Taurus was more like give uh, a gift, you know, maybe you play with her neck even, like, but like give a physical gift. So what could it be with Venus and Gemini? She's going to enjoy you uh, outpouring your mental abilities for her. So writing a poem, writing a song, um, leaving her like little notes, and writing her a letter. Um, things that like show what you got in your mind. Like things that she could be like, oh wow, like this dude's intelligent. Like this dude like maybe he doesn't share the same intelligence as me but he's able to like fuel my mind he's able to make me see new perspectives about the world so she's gonna enjoy that um mm, i mean that's pretty much it about like venus and gemini i feel like i could be saying another thing just give me a sec like, yeah she's gonna need stimulation so like if you're not someone who like actively like outputs energy or that likes to share like she's gonna get bored like if you got a lot of water no air no fire you're gonna feel like you always have to do something to like not impress her but like always have to do something so that like she keeps like being like that pleasant like venus in the air sign kind of deal you know um like yeah i saw on a video dude this is a nice channel also gemini brown on youtube not affiliated with him. He doesn't probably doesn't even know me, or maybe he does. I don't know. <laughs> but he says like in Venus and Air signs, like they got the swag, like they <laughs> they got style because they're they know what kind of shocks people. They know like what little details to play with, so that like the mind is stimulated, so that you know they could like they could be good stylists, and they they're gonna enjoy someone who likes who's who's able to like, you know, shock the mind also. Or like, who's able to like, take care of little details as to like, mind fuck the whole. <laughs> so Gemini for you, um, maybe she's gonna be a little bit like a cheating or something, but um, if she does cheat, 
it's probably because she feels she doesn't have the freedom that she wants and she wants to prove to her to herself that like she has it so she does it or perhaps you're just not the right lover anyways subscribe like comment that's what it is more videos to come yeah what up